Yellow everyone, Dexto here and welcome back to City Skylines where we are in the beautiful city of Tassa Springs and today, well, we've got some houses to build because as you can see, this guy is, well, they're complaining about we don't have enough people. We can also see that here uh, we have high demand for residential. So that's what we're going to do. And I found the perfect spot for it as in this big empty spot right here, right next to the industry here, which will become at some point uh, together with this, the transport hub, the sort of centralized transport, uh, trans public transportation hub. Now, the genius part about this, the genius, my genius plan here is that we're going to grab this roundabout right here and come out from this and have the entrance there, which means it will be served by this pr transportation hub. So we can fairly easily pull a bus line in there. We can also fairly easily pull a, um, a tram in there. We'll also have a little bridge crossing over here so it can be served from this area. Should you come from the ring road, you can also come through this beautiful dumbbell intersection or dog bone, however, however you want to call it. I, I think this is a dumbbell intersection and you can of course come with your streets. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a little bit of an elevated street here and we're going to come into our bridges and piers, which came with the bridges and piers content career pack. If you don't have it, go get it because it's fantastic. And with that, we can take the European stone bridge. And if you just keep this down at ground level, it looks absolutely amazing. So I'm going to go here and take off my road guidelines. I usually always play with these off unless I'm creating something specific because they just, they just mess with me. We're going to come to our free form tool here and we're going to grab this node right here. I think like so, no, uh, to place where we can come over this. Is that a thing that we can do? Maybe if we start by putting the overpass down first. Oh, let's see. Yep, that's the one. And let's make sure that these are at a reasonable, there you go. That's what we want. And then we could shorten this a little bit. What say the? to this length. We'll take this, keep the road guidelines off for this to, can you, can I get you there? Yeah. And then we'll go down to ground level about there. I need to see it from another perspective there. Yes. And we get this beautiful cobblestone, very, um, I would call it Portuguese-esque actually, um, mainly because that's that's where I am. They have these bright cobblestones. Is it too steep? I don't think so. I mean, it's a steep road. It could possibly be a little bit less steep, less s steep. Uh, so let's rework that. Let's do that again. So if we pull you out like this and say two down and then one down, is that better? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, that's, oh, it's beautiful. And we'll keep this running. Imagine here in Tassa Springs that this could possibly be the old viaduct. Now be careful with this because you see how the, um, what do you call them? The pillars, they change in length depending on where you place it. So I always keep it uh, in tens because that's where I feel like the length of the the length of the distance between the pillars is the best. So I'm going to pull this out sort of this far for now. I'm going to pre-plan here a little bit. So we'll pull the, the um, tram. Hello. Yes. Tram. Just the tram check and we'll pull it from, let's pull it from here and let's go straight. Uh, let me think. Yeah, let's go straight. We'll just put it here for now. Oh yeah, there's that church yard right there. So actually, the tram is gonna run next to this, like so. We'll go back to our, just a normal road here and we'll pull it out from here to about there, there, there. And we'll run to here, yes, cool. And then from there, we're gonna go all the way up to the highway something like actually that should be good yes 
to about here. And then on the other side, we'll pull it like this because in there, in here, we'll have a little bit of a park. Not enough money. Oh. Do we not have enough power over there? Is that is that a thing? That's not what I want. I wanted to see this. Yikes. I think I may have messed up. So let me just... Yeah, we'll just do that. That should be good. I wonder if we could then possibly turn the budget down to 100. Maybe. Will that be fine? Yeah, more than fine. You can also come down to there. Cool, nice, good. All right, well, that also means that I can keep building some roads with a space in between here of two tiles. And we'll, whoop, I just hit the microphone, excuse me. We'll go down, go down by a distance of uh, two and then down two more like so. So we get this nice smooth curve here. And that's just going to meet up there. Very nice. If we use this, we get this beautiful, beautiful cobble street uh, road here. And I want to, we'll have a little bit of a shopping district here, right? So that's going to, that's going to look super nice. We can pull with us the, uh, the tram here. And I believe it can run under there. It's a little tight. It's a little tight. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be where the tram is going to stub. Stub. It's gonna stop there. And then we'll pull it over. Is that straight? Yes, that is straight. Perfect. So one, two, three, four. And then over by what was that? That was 760. All right, so we'll go over to the other side by the distance of 760 and then down. And then we can uh, upgrade where, where, there you go. Normal road, thank you. And that should be that. I'm a fan of this. I'm gonna, I, I, I have to say, let's, uh, let's move this tram down just a tad because we moved this whole thing. So still, we're gonna have to park here. It's gonna probably go, you know, around and in here. So let's see. Uh, give me this one. Yeah. And then to, is that there? Yes. Perfect. And then you can continue over. What? Uh, it, stop it. There you go. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I moved it over because I thought, well, they have to somehow get over it as well. So we'll, we'll do a little bit of a pedestrian bridge uh, action here. And then let's pull this road here. Let's pull it just out to here, right? like this, we'll connect them over here also. And let's put this road length on and we'll have it run next to the bridge here, just to about, I will keep it running for a little bit longer and we'll do this. That should be good. Yeah, perfect. Cool. And then I believe we could bring over a road there. Yeah, nice, so nice. And then over here as well, we'll connect those two up. And I think here with a normal road, we'll pull it up just to the tram here. And the tram is sort of going to hug this area. And we'll pull this one down to about here. And that's just going to end there. And then we'll have space for a path. So we'll leave one, one tile here and then we'll have houses here around this is going to be a good place for for the bridge to come down again so one two three four so let's uh let's see one two one two okay so you need to be removed also and then one two down perfect and then we'll figure out how the tram is going to circle around from there it's quite possibly just going to it is going to just do this. Look, we'll, we'll do it right now. 
We'll do it together. It's going to go from here. Is it going to be able to go under that? Maybe that would be interesting, wouldn't it? Like so. Yes. Look at that. I'm going to pull it out further than I need. And then it will run here. This bit is going to be tram road. And then you'll come out here and then run over, which gives us a little bit of blah, 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 which gives us a little bit of space for houses here. And then we'll remove that bit and drag this over to about there. Nope, that's not going to do it. Oh, that's also not the street I want it to. Yeah, we'll pull it to here from now that can possibly further down the line, jump over and, you know, go over there. But I think the Metro or tram network is hooked in. It's all going through there. Yeah. So let's create a line to start off with. So we'll create a new line here and we'll have one for now here. Not a lot is happening there, but we'll put it there anyways. The same with here, I think here. And then it's going to circle there. And then where are they going to go from here? Nowhere here. They can go to work. Yep. So we'll do that. We'll stop opposite here and here and here. This is close enough that they can walk over there. That's fine. Perfectly fine. What time is it? I got like 20, 20 minutes more than I got to go pick up the, the kit. So what sort of trams are coming out? Okay. It's purple. I don't want it to be purple. That must be this one. So we'll make them a dark green. I think should work that one as well. Make it a dark green. That seems about the same. Yep. Uh, ah, okay. You're going that way around. Interesting. Cool. So now I see abandoned houses. We need to start getting some people moving in here. So we'll do that. We'll do that now. We'll start by some, we'll mix it up here because we have to some four by fours and some three by threes or three by four, excuse me, four by four there, a four by four here, and then paths on either side or fencing there, fencing fences. Yes. So pretty. We'll leave a gap between these. This will be detailing a path will go here, right? And in here, we're going to have some shops. And I'm going to be very specific of what I actually let grow here. Because I don't want I don't want any fugly shop shops, if you know what I mean. So I'll let I'll let these grow in. And then we'll come back and I'll I'll show you what, what I had in mind. All right. So this is what I was talking about. All right. So of course, a little bit of, of parking here. Naturally we have to have parking and then uh, a bunch of university, university city assets from the university city content creator pack. Uh, so I love the, I, I'm, I just, I love the design of these. All right. I mean, I can even see the charm in, in having this big old factory in the background, but the cram burger fry guys, Five guys, burgers, fries, and of course, you know, little paths here and hidden, hidden pathways. Um, these guys might complain a little bit about noise. I'm afraid this will be a little bit noisy, but they'll have to deal with it. It is what it is. All right. So these guys are starting to grow in. So, okay. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll keep growing in. So we'll switch over to, ooh, uh, ouch. We will do, I think, just something else with that little corner. Let's think about that. Maybe something like this. Yeah. And then four by four there. And we'll here we'll do a three. We'll leave this open. So we'll do a three by three and a three by three. Same, same on this side, symmetrical here. And then over here, uh, let's wait a little bit because, yeah, we want that to be a four by four. We'll do the same here. Four by four, four by four, 
Okay, I can not count four by four there. Is that four? Yes, that's four. Perfect. And then here we'll do some two by threes, you know, just some smaller, smaller scale houses with lots of paths. We'll figure out something to put here. We'll figure it out. Maybe not houses or maybe even houses. Let's check it out. What do we have? We have something like this. Perfect. A little just, I want to call it almost Washington DC-esque. Um, yeah, apartments. Oh, hi, hello. Is that ice cream or what was that? Anyways, it's a little bit of an I, um, ice cream. A little bit of... <laughs> I saw ice cream. All I can think about is ice cream. A little bit of a um, an apartment block here, right? I've I've seen this in like Burbank, California as well. Some nice nice houses growing in here. I see that you guys have grown in, so we can we can uh, zone you out as well as here, here and there. Why were you not a ah like so? There you go. That's what we wanted. Cool. Perfect. You've grown in, you don't want to grow in, but this has taken care of some of our, our residential demand, which is nice. And it's looking, it's looking really good. And I wonder if I can continue this out all the way over, but looking at this, the, um, the grid is slightly damaged, I think by this bridge. So let me work on this a little bit and see what I can come up with. Yes. Perfect actually really really like this let's see if we can connect these two up maybe here yes fantastic of course we do have a little bit of space for possibly a bicycle path no this is just going to be a normal path right there but this little suburb here is, is starting to look fantastic and i see you've grown in here as well which means you can do that perfect should we put one here nah we'll leave that empty and then we can start here having some four by fours right and I'm being super specific about this because we'll have a uh, two by two there and a two by two there just because of that split zoning. Uh, because while well, I kind of want to control the rate of which the um, the citizens move in. Oh, we got major deaths. We got deaths. Are you going to do something about that? I hope you are. You'll figure that out. Maybe it's the bear. Actually, speaking of the bear, are you still over here by the school? Where are you here? Do we still have a bear or have you since run away i wonder we'll come back and check on that later i think we're gonna create a statue here for that bear the tasa bear um however starting to i mean this is a problem that we need to fix in the next episode or in the detailing time lapse but it's starting to take shape over here right let me just let me just just do this and this just to have it a little bit better or prettier I should say. Yeah. Starting to take shape. I want to finish this bridge, which is going to curve uh, around these trees and then meet up right here, which this part right here is going to be a little bit of a busy intersection. We may, we may relook at it later to see if it needs to change or, or if it needs to become a roundabout or something of that sort. But let's grab our European two lane stone bridge and we'll, start by coming out a little bit straight here uh these road guidelines can go off there you go and we'll just um yeah hit this 20 marker mark then we'll freeform it around like so and then a little bit further like so and then down will you do that yes Oh, perfect. Mm, look at that. Look at that beauty. Just look at this beauty. Ignore the dead people in the background. I've already placed a cemetery. They'll, they'll come and pick it up. Some, some guy over there is really dead. Maybe that's the bear. We still have to come up with a name for the bear. But I, I mean, I, I really cannot tell you enough how much I love this bridge. The, uh, the European two lane. It's just stunning, stunning, stunning bridge. Um, for lore or backstory, I imagine this would be the old uh, viaduct since turned road. And uh, thus, you know, we have this. So I'm going to quickly lay down a bit of a road layout here. And I've changed my mind about something. Since we have the trees here, I'm going to place a little nature reserve park here, right? In this sort of uh, 
pinnacle. That's not what you call pinnacle. Um, peninsula. Yeah, let's call it a peninsula uh, instead of here. And then we'll place some housing here, right? Man, I still I'm 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 in love with this little apartment block here. Anyways, I'm gonna quickly lay, lay this down, um, and then I'll be right back. All right, so here we are with our little. It's just a little bit more, right? We'll have some commercial in here, perhaps, uh, for these guys to go somewhere and, you know, shop. And of course, here will be the entrance to the um, nature reserve, which will come in the next episode. So subscribe to not miss that episode, like the video, and we'll get an episode next Monday, of course, about the uh, the Tassa Springs nature reserve, uh, wedged between a big highway, a busy intersection, and, you know, a bridge. But hey, it's going to be fantastic. So I'm going to place some houses here. And let's see. We got a whole heap of broken grid because it's not. So this is like off by half. Um, half a, um, what you call it? Square space thingy. So it's like kind of strange. I may just here. We'll just fence this off and have some bushes and, and so on and so forth. And on the other side here, we'll do some three by threes. Let's see if that'll fit. Yes. So we'll have another three. By oh, perfect. Look at that. Um, we'll let these guys grow in. And of course, in another episode, we'll come and, and continue this detailing uh, palette from here over here. We can go back to one speed. Calm down. There you go. Cool. And then a little spot of commercial here, a little bit of a broken grid there. I wonder if we can delete this one and um if it'll let me if it'll if it'll play ball let's see will you nah you're just gonna you're gonna be weird aren't you there you go cool and then of course this grid here is broken uh so let's check that out so we'll remove these two and we'll have a little two by two there and that means we can fit another three by three there perfect cool Four by four, four by four, four by four, uh, four by four, four by four. Perfect. So good. So, so good. And I wonder if we should leave this. Yeah, because the park entrance will be here, thinking in progress. Anyways, uh, here, these are going to be some big, fancy houses. I'm going to put a path in between them and then a row of, of fence and, and trees. Uh, let's see, four and then, okay, so we'll do, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, two, three by threes and, and some four by fours. Perfect. Cool. Now you, you can grow in if you want. And I see a perfect little, is, I wonder, is there a, there's no stop here because it's there. Well, that's ridiculous. Let's put it here. Yeah, there, and then we'll put you there. Cool, uh, because right here, I see, I see potential for a little strip of commercial. However, they won't actually be able to do that now, would they? Because of, well, they can't come from here. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Let's let's move that back. Uh, you can stop here, and you can stop here as well. That's fine. And maybe we'll just, yeah, no, we'll, st we'll still do a little bit of, of commercial here, a little one by one. I'm going to be very specific, of course, of what I let grow in here. And I'll, I'll show you in a second exactly what I was talking about. So it's a micro green district. It's a micro green district with a few little, you know, little stalls that sells a little, you know, different things, a little open cafe. Just, it's so pretty. And on the back of this, we'll make, uh, we'll make some gardens for these two apartments because nobody's going to want to live, well, nor be able to live here. Uh, cause the Metro tram is called is, uh, kind of loud. So yeah, cool. Let's see. How are we doing over here? Why are we not moving in over here? Are we not happy? Do we not like this area? Is that, is that a thing? I wonder it's cause, uh, probably land value is not super high, but we do have the demand. So it, sh it shouldn't be a problem. And then um, we'll leave two spaces here, one for a path and one for some trees to block off the noise from this, this commercial right here, which will be noisy. 
for sure. A little open spot there. And then if you could do me a favor and grow in, that would be uh that would be just fantastic, wouldn't it? Let's see here. Yeah, we're starting to grow in. And put in here and here. Nice. Cool. I think we continued this uh cobblestone here. It all of a sudden looked sort of naked. Let's do that, yeah. Keep this going all the way to here, at least. That should be fine. And then maybe this is gonna turn into some bicycle street or or something like that. But yeah, very integrated with the with the tram. Some intricate roads. I'm loving it. Let's detail up this area. Right, everyone well that's gonna do it for me today i really hope you enjoyed this build as much as i did and if you did leave a like on the video it helps uh, it helps me out a lot and uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to follow along in this amazing journey of tasa springs um, but for now enjoy the rest of your day evening or night and see you next time bye bye